Hey everybody, welcome back to In the Can. This is a very interesting film we're going to be talking about. Uh, and uh, we've got director Elite Zexer here along with our actress Lamis Hamar. Yes, right. Uh, did I do Amar. Okay? Amar. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm, see, that's the beautiful thing about Sundance is we get the international world uh, coming in. The movie is called Sandstorm. And uh, while it is set in kind of a faraway place, it really does deal with themes that I think anybody can relate to. Uh, so basically the story, it's, it's a Bedouin story. It's a, it's a yes. Bedouin community within Israel. True. right? So, so in other words, an Arabic community within Israel. And there's lots of interesting play in between the characters. Tell, tell us a little bit about the film and uh, you know, set it up for us. Well, the story of the film tells of a, it's a drama film mm -hmm. about a Bedouin family. It's set in the Israeli desert, which is in the south part of Israel. And it really focuses on two women. One is the mother, she's 42, and she is just hosting the marriage of her husband to a second and much younger wife. Mm -hmm. And during this wedding, she finds out that, that her daughter, Laila, who's 18, played by Lamise, mm -hmm. exactly. um, <laughs> is having a very forbidden affair with a boy from a different tribe. Mm -hmm. And the story is telling, the film is telling the story about how these two women have to deal with these very new circumstances that is completely changing their lives. And they, and they deal with them in very different ways because they're coming at it from different perspectives. Exactly. The mother, of course, very traditional. The fact that she would even, you know, in some, you know, in some, allow the, the marriage to a younger woman, but still that's very traditional. I, I wouldn't call the mother traditional. I think she's okay. more uh, focused, and not okay. focused. She's more like, she's been through stuff. She knows how reality works. And she she understands better what you can and cannot do, and what you can can kind of get um, get away with. Mm -hmm. And the daughter still thinks she can she can get have away everything. with anything, right? And during the film, I think both of them realize that if they don't start seeing it through each other's eyes and work together, mm -hmm. then they're not going to get through this. How was the experience for you? I mean, because for a film like this, it seems that your character and the mm -hmm. character of the mother really have to have an interesting relationship and an interesting bond to make all this work and make it believable. What kind of work did you do with your actresses uh, to, to make that happen? What was your experience as well, both of you? Um, my experience, it was very interesting because it was a little bit, um, it, ha it has a, lit a lot of in common between me and my relationship between my mother and the character. Mm -hmm. So we had almost the same process and um, it was very interesting to look at the things and to understand them and then I realized a lot of things about me and my mother relationship. So it was very interesting. The actress also, Ruba. Mm -hmm. uh, Who plays the mother. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she had very good experience in acting. So. It was my first feature movie, and I learned a lot from her. Mm -hmm. um, the relationship between me and my mother, it go, it's changing with the, with the movie, mm. with the um, consequences. During the, during the film, you mean your relationship with the mother, it changes? Exactly. It's getting deeper, and, um, And we starting to find really things in common between mm. us because she is uh, conservative, as you said, but maybe she had before the same issues like I have now as a teenager. Mm. And she couldn't do nothing about it, but now it's me and it's a new gener generation. Mm. And I go to the university, which it's a new thing in the Bedouin community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think what, so. the, the, what they try to do with them is most is when, when I met her, I felt that the character that I have is very, very different from her. But I thought she's so special and so amazing and a very mm -hmm. good actress and I wanted, I really wanted her to play the part. So what I did, oh. <laughs> what I did is I completely rewrote the script for her. That's and I made every scene to, I, I started imagining her and I wrote every scene that it would match her. And the thing that Lamise and I um, came to understand together is she's, she has to understand every sentence mm -hmm. from a personal perspective. Mm -hmm. And every place that we got to, um, every, every sentence we worked on, I asked her, do you know where this is coming from? And she had to find a place with her own life that she related to. So, so you kind of organically brought that to the thing and then as as a director uh, elite you you actually kind of nurtured it and brought it out mm -hmm. you know any great performance you're going to see 
the personal inside the actor. Exactly. Uh, and, and, and you see that connection, and mm. I think that's why the performance is probably something that, you know, it may, may have she not... She should be very proud of it. Well, I, I would hope so. And it, and it may <laughs> I have didn't been, see it she, yet. She doesn't know it yet. I didn't tonight. saw the movie yet. You're going to find out. <laughs> yes, yeah. and it will be the first time today I will see it. So I'm very and excited. And how do you feel about that, Lumis? <sighs> I'm very excited. I think I will cry. You think so? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'll be interesting? Are you going to have a Q and A after the premiere? Yeah. And and I, I would imagine you're going to be coming up on stage too as part of that Q and A. So people are going to see your reaction as well. Uh -huh. I don't want to put any pressure on, <laughs> but it's going to be interesting. Hey, we do have uh, a, a clip. We uh, we would love to show our audience a, a little bit of Sandstorm. Let's take a look at that right now. That's the first time you've seen yourself in that film, isn't it? Wow, I look so <laughs> special. <laughs> But that's a great no, that's a, it's really Lamise, nice. Seriously, yeah. Lamise, after every time we finished shooting a shot, I would say, Lamise, how did you do? She said, I was so good. <laughs> I am so good. So. I worked hard for it. You, you actually did. You had to put a lot of time in. We were talking before we came on set. You actually had to learn a new dialect, didn't you? Exactly. Be, to, to kind of match this region. You're not from that region, obviously. And, and uh, you I had to learn a new way to it. speak. Let's say we are community language. We speak the same language, and uh, we have the same rules. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a little different because I'm from a city. I live in a city, and our way of life is not that uh, gypsy, let's say, mm -hmm. as them. But yeah, so we brought we brought in a Bedouin dialogue, a Bedouin who did a dialogue coaching, mm -hmm. and she went through about three months of training. Mm -hmm. and, and we went there to uh, to know them more, to know how their lifestyle, because they have uh, a very interesting things that you should know before you do this character. Of course. And Elite, you, you actually spent years yep. with Bedouin women, so mm -hmm. you, you may have also been a, you know, a, not only a director but almost a cultural coach as well in, in just letting your actors know, you know the, yeah. kind, the kind of environment that they, they are living in. Yeah, in I wouldn't call myself a cultural coach because <laughs> I, I came there and uh, you know, I see them as my friends. And uh, you know, uh, I didn't go there to study a culture. Mm -hmm. I just uh, met them and fell in love with some of them. And I, I've been through some experiences. They really inspired me of them mm -hmm. as people. And I um, was so moved that I decided that I have to do this film because it was like a part of my life too. Right. But it did teach and you then, kind of that then, interplay between. And then, no, and then I, I brought Bedouins to be the cultural coaches. Yeah. And not put myself in that position because it is not my culture. So. But at the same time, you 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 did get a really good upfront education. Yeah, I obviously in, did in spend in ten years with them, and I know yeah. a lot of things. And I told her, and I explained, and I showed her pictures, yeah. and I I did. But I did bring other people to be the cultural coaches, and I didn't call myself an expert or something because. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. But you were a director, and uh, it's no, an amazing film, and yeah. it's called Sandstorm. Uh, again, you are premiering today on uh, Monday, and mm. uh, good luck to you. You're gonna thank you. Excited to see it. Very I mean, excited. You're, you're excited to see you for just a couple of seconds. There, you're gonna see the whole thing today. Uh, yes, it it will be very uh, interesting because I feel that there is a big difference. Although we work that uh, it's it's coming from me, mm -hmm. all the emotions and the things, but the situation and the lifestyle, as I said before, is very different. So mm -hmm. it's interesting to see myself in another character. Well, enjoy today. It's a big day. Celebrate Thank it. You so much. And you're going to have a great week at the festival. Uh, this film uh, is called Sandstorm. Make sure you check it out here at the Sundance Film Festival. You'll be able to see it after the festival, I'm sure, as well. We'll have more in the can after this.